Hello everyone, it is the Banter Guy here, and welcome back to part four of my Lord of the Rings, the Third Age walkthrough for the Evil Mode. Um, if you've been pay paying attention to the other episodes, we're currently up to episode 22, I believe. Uh, so this is the Evil Mode for, as we all know, Helm's Deep. Now, as I recall, there are only two battles for the Helm's Deep Evil Mode, but they're they're really fun. Uh, from what I remember, they, they are really fun. So here's the Helm's Deep Evil Mode, people. Uh huh. And it's the first minute, and we're already one of us dead. Yeah, if you can't tell, the Berserkers, the normal ones, are really, really crap. Well, the one thing is that, you know Wrath of the Pen Mark? That's a move that Morwen gets six moves down the line. So unless you clutched with her for, like, hours, um, she's really, in, in terms of that sense, she's good. But it's ridiculous. Because that move don't learn for, like, another hundred things. And that move don't learn for about another sixty spearcrafts. Uh, skill points, so it's complete rubbish. Stagger the food. That's probably killed our berserker. Oh, for the sake of sixty. Don't kill the ladder. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Holy crap, I'm so relieved. What order can we get? We get a sword veteran. Yay! Geoblades! Thanks for that, Legolas, but yeah, just waste your AP. I'm fine with that. Yeah, as you can see, the Berserkers are crap, but the Urukai with all the armor and stuff, they're pretty good, actually. Poison! Yeah, you really do suck like last, don't you? And we get our own Berserker Veteran! Awesome! Stagger Marathor! <laughs> I love that last move, uh, or that last little bit of animation for the, um, uh, for the Berserkers is like, when they're staggering the the last one is like they just punch him in the face. It's, it's pretty cool, um, but, but whatever. Oh, triple critical! Yeah, that's not going to do much against our veteran. Battle renewal on this guy! Nice! And now, Stagger Legolas. And just like punch him right in the face, like uppercut! Oof! Well, this is built of Saruman. Pretty epic. I just cripple him. Yeah, very easy to break the game system by just staggering foes or crippling or paralyzation. It's pretty easy to break the game that way. Crippling. A nice berserker slash to finish. And our second battle, the last battle being the Gimli battle, I'll just call it that. Because I don't know his actual name. I don't know the battle's actual name, I, I think it's just... Uh, I, I don't know. 
the battle near the blown up wall. That's what I'll call it. And again, Rappaberdas don't get it for like another few level or another few areas at least. Not until sort of the Ministeric area. Yeah, yeah, thank you for killing one of my guys. Can we get a sap? Lovely. I'm gonna try and take out Morwen. She she's the weakest. We're going to silence Hadhod, because he can, like, the AI um, Hadhod in this bit of the battle has very good spirit. And so if he used to do, say, Mountain Shield on uh, Gimli, it could become very hectic for us, because Gimli can do crap like this. And do about 3,000 damage, which is roughly half an average Huracan's health, or if he was doing it to a Berserker, it would be like 10,000 damage, so, you know. I don't mind you wasting the AP, but I, mean, I don't like losing people. I think there's a total of, in terms of your reinforcements, there's about 25 for this area. But, not for this battle, rather. I keep getting mixed between levels, areas, battles. I just call the battles the battles, and the areas the areas, and all that good stuff. And you miss, you, you're crap. I think our sap's dead. <laughs> 33,000 damage. I think he's dead. Let's also silence Aiden, because he's got some nice spirit powers. Uh huh. Let's stagger Gimli. Because he's the most annoying in this uh, sort of the, the good team battle group. He is definitely the most annoying. Might to attack Morwen, but okay. Uh huh. Another sap. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, didn't you miss? I've got feeling our set to dead. Oh, 20,000. The diesel got 9,742 health. Yeah, I think our sapper was definitely dead there. Keep staggering him, like, make him never ever go, because he can do about 3,000 even with an axe cleave, so. Let's stop him from doing that. Also, signs more win because she's got her uh, thief craft and that counts as spirit powers. I, I never understood that, but I suppose it does. Let's kill more win. A nice critical. So, yeah, we pretty much win at this point because we've still got about 20 reinforcements. So, yeah, I'm just for the fun of it. It, it doesn't do anything, um, but just so that everyone has no silence. Um, I don't know why I like doing that, I just kind of do. Um, and I mean, the, the, the Auric Bow's. Bolt doesn't really do all that much anyway. I mean, to be perfectly honest, it's pretty crap. I mean, look, to Hadron it does what? 273 damage. For this late in the game, it's you're, you're as well just doing nothing. Which is kind of what we're doing with the um, the silencing arrow. So yeah. Let's do some leeching blows on Hedhog. Uh-huh. Yeah, I really don't care, Gimli.
Yeah, now people are confused about what happens, like why does one at get attacked and the other one takes the damage? Yeah, it's called the Blood Frenzy, which is a uh, special ability that only the Berserkers have. I think it's native in terms of the game to the Victim Berserkers only, but it could be the normal Berserkers. Um, basically it allows them to share health because they're covered in blood. Uh, people think it's paint, but no, that, that's their blood. Um, it's leaking from them. That's why they're called Berserkers, because they're completely mad, their body's completely mad, they're completely, their biology's messed up and all that. Um, yeah, but, no, it's called the Blood Frenzy, just, just in case you're wondering. And now we pretty much win. Yeah, not very much to talk about other than we win because I can just keep staggering Gimli and he'll never ever grow ever again. Which is kind of nice, but you know. If you can break the game to work in your favour, do it. That's all I can say. Because now we basically go to the end of time, and that's why Stand Fast is so useful. Because any stagger foe is prevented. And, um, yeah, that pretty much ends that off. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to talk about other than we win, essentially. And Gimli fell. He could not propel the Urukai for long enough. And yeah, we'll save those items to our final. So yeah, that'll be the evil mode done for Helm's Deep. And look forward to more episodes of the Lord of the Rings the Third Age uh, for me in the future. And if we just get back to the main menu, thank you. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more. I've been the Vantage Guy. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.